Well, the Australian Lawyers Alliance has said that such laws to combat online misinformation could, quote, compromise freedom of speech. Well, I would not use the word compromise. This legislation will arbitrarily deny freedom of speech. And this outfit, the Australian Communications and Media Authority, will be given the power to fine social media platforms millions of dollars for content deemed to be, quote, harmful misinformation or disinformation. This is about the digital platforms doing what they say they will do in respect of mis- and disinformation. Uh, you know, this whole thing is supposed to be just harmless. It's supposed to be just to protect us and keep us safe online. This is, again, about keeping Australians safe. But in actual fact, ACMA will have the right to decide what is misinformation and disinformation. The Albanese government's proposed censorship laws, they label criticism of their policies and edicts as misinformation. Uh, with the changing media environment, people can be the subject to uh, misinformation. And if they decide that, let's say, something has been said on, on Google or Facebook or ADH-TV for that matter. One of the areas that we were dealing with throughout this is the uh, misinformation and disinformation campaign on social media. Then they enact laws threatening to issue massive fines if what they call misinformation isn't disappeared from the internet. They don't have the power to take the material down themselves, but they won't need to because when they start bringing that kind of pressure to bear on digital platforms, that work will be done for them. What you're describing effectively there is a censorship industrial complex. In COVID, so much of what was declared misinformation. Immunity against infection wanes pretty quickly and it goes way, way down. Looking back was information, very useful information. A new US study finds natural immunity is strong and long lasting for people infected with COVID-19. Most of the misinformation was coming from the jump up public health officials appeared on our televisions or, or every day and the government. Getting that third dose is protection against severe illness but also protection against getting infected in the first place. Despite two, three, four doses of the vaccine, uh, it's not so good at preventing infection in the first place. The TGA will go through all of the things they need to do and it's only when they have finished that full approval process any vaccine will be available in Australia, including the AstraZeneca. And in Australia, AstraZeneca vaccine no longer available as of the 20th of March and the reason is so there will be no further cases of AstraZeneca-related thrombocytopenia. So many people have given up almost completely on traditional media now because they're not getting the truth. The virus virus stops with every vaccinated person. Mm -hmm. All our hopes are riding on a vaccine. Yes. You need to be quiet. It'll be devastating for alternative media, you know, things like ADH TV, which are flourishing all over the world. Albanese, he cannot afford for this legislation not to get through after the embarrassment of the voice. But on the other hand, we as a nation cannot afford for it to get through because Absolutely. it will dramatically change. It, it, it crosses a threshold, Alan, and which we should never cross. The point Absolutely. at which the government is able to say what we can and cannot say in public and ultimately what we can and cannot think. We must oppose this bill with every ounce of our breath. There is no room for compromise on it and we must do everything we can to prevent this going through Parliament.